Yes. But I saw, dude, I watched F9, Fast and the Furious. And then I looked, I, 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 I don't understand what, F9 is, you know, top 10 worst movies of all time. Like Vin Diesel doesn't, hey, dude, you, that's not the movie you're in, guy. You're not in, th- you know, thriller, drama, fucking everything serious movie, guy. You're you're in a movie where a car has an R&B singer and a rapper in it, and it goes to outer space to save the world. A car. You're in a movie where a pro wrestler, John Cena, Cena who I would argue is the worst looking man in human history. Okay. Fucking uh, aggressively advances off a fucking ledge and fucking in a car and zooms off it. And a fucking stealth bomber picks it up in midair. And Vin Diesel's like, Seriously looking at another guy th- saying stuff like, not, not this time. I was there for you. And like doing it like for real. Hey, do it tongue in cheek. It's F9. Hey, do it tongue in cheek. You made nine of these. And the only reason why they're fucking global box office phenomenons is because of Asians. Asians don't give a Fuck what they're watching, dude. Asians will watch anything as long as something in it preposterous is happening. Like, they they don't give a fuck, dude. And a a white guy will watch the stealth bomber pick up a fucking car in midair, and and white guy will be like, oh my God, what the fuck? Asians will watch it and eat, start eating more popcorn. It's the Asians don't give a fuck as long as action is happening. Right. And I'm including Indians with RRR, like all that Bollywood shit. They don't give a fuck. And there's so many of them that fucking Fast and Furious can be a hit now. And that's a conspiracy theory hill that I'm willing to die on. Uh, Yeah, dude. So don't be all not tongue in cheek and sitting there, Vin Diesel, talking to, uh, you know, somebody that's like, it's actually all about family. And mean it, dude? Get out of here, man. Get, you know, somebody who, I, I fucking, dude, Vin D. John Cena is the ugliest man I've ever seen in my life. I'll die on the hill, dude. Have you ever seen a close-up of him? He looks fantastic in the ring. But you see a close-up of that motherfucker, dude? Oh, you're just like, where's his face going? Is his face in a rush? Parts of his face have other shit to do today or something? It's a comedy podcast. Relax, dude. I don't actually think John Cena is the ugliest guy in the fucking world. I think it's Kenneth Branagh, obviously. But dude, you know what I mean? Where's hey? But where's Kenneth Branagh's lips, though? They use that extra flesh to populate John Cena's fucking face with uh, like jowls, you know? God was like, Kenneth doesn't need that. Put it on John Cena's jowls. Obviously, I'm joking, dude. Kenneth Branagh is not the fucking ugliest guy in the world. I mean, I could keep going with the joke, you know, but it's just like... But yeah, dude. Just like John Cena's, where's his face going, dude? John Cena's got the most faciest face since Steve Harvey. Um, the acting, I know, I know you don't watch, but so this is what my point is. So I'm watching F9, and then I look, I'm like, oh, this is agreed that this is one of the worst movies we've ever seen, right? Like, where do they get? Hey, like. Uh, Where do they get... First of all, who are these guys in Fast and the Furious? Who are these guys, okay? Because let's go back to Fast and the Furious 1. Paul Walker was an undercover cop that met up 
with a street racer, Vin Diesel, and they had to save the day or uncover something or fucking get bad guys arrested. K. How did we get to the ninth installment, which is actually the 10th installment because of Hobbs and Shaw is in there somewhere. How the fuck did they get to be global, like international spies that like Vin Diesel's like, we're needed again to save the world. Who, by what, but who's hiring you? You're just some guy. And, and, and who's ludicrous. And what is, what is Tyrese? And how are they the comedic fucking element of the movie? Carl's will be flying off for bridges and Ludacris will be like, not in my wildest days. Whoa. And Tyrese will just be like, damn. Asians just eating popcorn, more popcorn, just laughing their fucking asses off, watching Fast and Furious in fucking, uh, you know. A big metropolitan area. <laughs> dude. Fucking goddamn, dude. Nothing. There's only one thing more Asian than being in a heavily populated metropolitan area is being fucking away. Way not near fucking anybody. Do it in silence. Yeah, dude. He figured it out, man. Uh, holy shit. So, but I will tell you this, man. Who, who are these guys in the movie? Just straight up, who are they? 1,900 characters in each movie. Dude, Kurt Russell is in number nine. In two scenes. Shot it in one day. It gave him $4 million. Took an afternoon. And like, you know, who are these guys? Who is Charlize Theron? She's in a glass box the whole movie with a fucking Q-tip haircut. Who are these people? Then you got like Michelle Rodriguez, who I thought was Vin Diesel's sister until they ended up kissing. And I'm like, oh, oh, it's fucking Jordana Brewster. That's his sister. Just there's too many people in this movie, dude. John Cena, Vin Diesel, the chick from Game of Thrones that's now in that invitation thing that used to follow me on fucking Instagram but doesn't anymore, and then fucking uh, Jordana Brewster, fucking uh, what's her name, uh, the other one that I just said, Michelle Rodriguez, Ludacris, Tyrese, I'm racist because of the two black guys at the same time, uh, the Asian dude that just acts like this. That's all he does. Well, what do you think? He's just, we thought you died. Woo! Not today. Just ludicrous fucking yucking it up. God, ludicrous the worst actor I've ever seen in my life, dude. They tell, dude, Vin, hey, also, John, in, oh, I forgot the best part. John Cena is Vin Diesel's brother. <laughs> John Cena is Vin Diesel's brother in the movie. Ah! They don't look alike. Dude, and there's this, there's a, and, and then it might have been okay if they were adopted, but they don't mention that. As a matter of fact, they make it worse. They say, oh, I knew I noticed that jawline and the, and the face structure was familiar. Saying like that they actually were brothers, dude. Ah! If they cast straight up, if they cast a fucking doorway instead of John Cena, it would have been more believable. Ah! Dude, Vin Diesel looks more like a doorway than John Cena. Is Vin Diesel even white? I don't even know what the fuck... Dude, unbelievable that they're brothers in the movie, dude. <laughs> dude. Here's another question. Who's funding this mission? It's 
Hey, street racer, we need help to save the world. Can you find this orb that's in the wrong hands? Here's 84 bajillion dollars. This seems appropriate. And he does it. Wow, dude. Just unbelievable. I can't even believe it. That Asian guy is in it, and it's so funny, dude. Like, he's that he, like, he died in the movie before and died. And then they were like, How are you alive? And then he's just like, And they do some flashback where instead of him being in the car that blew up, he's watching the car that blew up. <laughs> And then he shows up and he has a haircut, you know, to make him look older. He just fucking has a haircut and shit. And then, and then it goes, and then it goes, and then one of the guys says to him, well, that still leaves one thing that has to be left explained. And, and then I, and then I said to my friends, we were watching it. I said, your haircut. And they all laughed really hard. Dude, that movie, dude, F. Also, the balls to call it F9. Made half a billion dollars. It cost, it made 750 or 20, 30, 40, 50 million dollars. Cost 200 something million dollars to make so much fucking money just being thrown around. Dude, and and Kurt Russell's in two scenes. And then at the end, he's, he, his character's name is Mr. Nobody, dude. Uh, a children's game. So bad. And and then isn't discussed beyond halfway through in the throughout the movie. And the movie ends and there's like no Kurt Russell. And then three days later, you you think, wait a minute, Kurt Russell was in that movie. And they're making another one. They're just waiting for the CGI to get good enough because because they just cut Paul Walker out because he died. That they're just going to wait till the CGI is good enough to where they're going to, I swear to God, I shit you not, to where they can CGI and have Paul Walker in the whole movie CGI. And that's what they're going to do. And I'm telling you right now, dude. And they've already put Ludacris and Tyrese in space in a car. And they had to crash into a satellite. This is all real shit. Um... Movie's so bad, but it's great. And then I went on the fucking critic. This is the whole reason why I brought it up. On the critics, and and like half the critics were like, popcorn fun. No. Still got to make sense, dude. You know, the acting may not be there, but the action is absolutely nonstop. Yeah, but it's bad, dude. The special effects, okay. But also, this is a movie. I could just type cool special effects on YouTube and come up with some. It's just so bad, dude. Um, oh, come on. Oh, God. Vin Diesel, dude. Do you know his real name? I do. It's Mark Sinclair. A fucking lawyer, you know? Well, Judge, that would be cool, but he didn't do it. Why? Family. Drives out of the fucking courtyard. Knocks over a fountain. Diesel said he prefers to maintain his privacy regarding his personal life, stating... Dude, he's so somebody I would have went to NYU for one year with. uh, Stating, I'm not going to put it out there on a magazine cover like some other actors. I come from the... Harrison Ford, Marlon Brando, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Code of Silence. Lumped Harrison Ford in there, you know? Like, <laughs> not part of it. I'm from fucking, I'm from the Har- I'm from the Marlon Brando, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Drew Carey, Code of Silence. What? Harrison Ford was in zero Italian movies. The Code of Silence is Italian. You know? I'm from the I'm from the Marlon Brando, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Frankie Muniz, Code of Silence. We don't talk about our private life. The guy's Instagram is unreal too, Vin Diesel. Oh, such a kink in his neck here with the fucking uh, what's his name, Ma- Michael Marco Kane. 
Oh, couldn't think of his name until I did that. One of the fun, one of the best, this is his caption. One of the best things about filming in the UK, dinners with my dear friend, Sir Michael Caine, who adoringly refers to me as his son. Ah! <laughs> Dude! All love always. I love people who sign their Instagram captions. All love always. Dude, it's not a fucking letter you're going to give to a pigeon. Uh, kink in his neck, you know? How much does Vin Diesel wear the worst clothes of all time? I, I've never seen him in his regular clothes, only in action clothes, but... Wow. These two guys are probably so fucking... Cr- Imagine being at a dinner with goddamn Michael Caine and Vin Diesel. You, I swear to God, 20 minutes in, I'd be like, dude, I, I, I'm out. I'm out, dude. I'm out. I'm out. I can't do this, dude. You fucking guys kidding me? You don't know what real life is life. Okay, I'm looking here. Another Instagram. Wow. Yeah, this fucking Michael Caine. Also, not a code of silence. Crazy. 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 Crazy.